now to some more disturbing allegations. They're emerging against a substitute teacher in Minnesota. He's accused of putting a student on the floor in front of the class and reenacting the murder of George Floyd. This allegedly happened at a high school in the suburbs of Minneapolis. And these are photos provided by a student to our local affiliate CARE 11. NBC News correspondent Tremaine Lee joins us now. Uh, Tremaine, the photos are, are, are disturbing. I mean, what happened here? Disturbing is, is a one word to put it. This uh, substitute teacher is actually an off-duty police officer. Uh, students at this high school tell our affiliate CARE News uh, that in the reenacting uh, of George Floyd's murder, he was trying to prove that the restraint used uh, was actually not what killed him. Mind you, this is about 20 miles from where George Floyd was killed. Uh, these students and, and this whole school community shot. These are not the only allegations, by the way, that this substitute teacher is facing, right? Oh, it gets, it gets worse. So the reenactment of George Floyd's murder was bad. Uh, but over the course of a number of English classes, students say uh, that he put another student on the ground and twisted their arm behind their back, uh, that he told sexist jokes, uh, that he um, de de described uh, sexual assault crimes in explicit detail, um, that in, in another case, he said that uh, police would make the best criminals because they know how to get away with stuff. Can, can I ask, Jermaine, I mean... I it, no student should have to witness no. or be subjected to this, no matter who they are, no matter what color their skin. What have the parents said? I mean, what does the community say? Certainly, the, the, the parents are shocked. If you notice from those those video, uh, the the images we saw, that that student on the ground was a black student, and in such proximity to where George Floyd was killed, certainly a community and a state and a nation that had been traumatized by those events. And so, this entire community is is in an uproar. Uh, the school district immediately trespassed him from the school. He's no longer allowed on school property. But again, he's a police officer in the neighboring state. State, he's in place on administrative duty. Wow. It's just so hard to wrap our minds around what we saw in that photo and then what you just described. Tremaine right. Lee, thank you very much for your reporting. Thanks, Tremaine. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.